Okay, so that day I had to go to first period because I had a test. But also I had to test in fifth and sixth. So if I would have gone to fifth and sixth, I wouldn't have made it to Digi. So I just skipped those two. So when we got there, we had to look for Steven because we didn't have like normal VIP or general admission tickets. And so someone called him and then someone found him. Oh yeah, the guy who owns Minglewood or whatever, or works at Minglewood, Minglewood, called him and couldn't get him, and so he went to go find him, and he wasn't in his office, and said he, I guess, called him again and left a voicemail and saying we were looking for him. So when he came and found us, he went, he took us like to the little venue, into the venue, as our family, you know, and so he gave us this. Which you can tell it's been hanging up my wall. It just says Digitour 2014 guest VIP. It said media crew, but they crossed it out and put VIP and then put the date. September 5th, 2014. And then we also got these little laminate things. And they just say Digitour 2014 Jack and Jack VIP. And we had box seats because we had my grandmother and oh, because we were family and so. We got little box, like sky box seats, and so we had to get one of these. It says Minglewood Hall VIP, and I'm never taking it off. Just so. <laughs> Anyways, so we were on stage, we were just kind of chilling on stage, and we got to meet, and Trevor walked out, and Callie screamed, hey, Callie was like, hey Trevor, and me and Caitlin were like, wait, where's Trevor? If y'all don't know Trevor Moore, we know too well. And so, we got to meet Trevor and we talked to him, took pictures with him. I didn't take pictures with him. I was when he actually like, took Callie and Caitlin's picture with him. I didn't want a picture, so, because I, I took one, I was going to take one later that night. And so, and then Steven came out and was like, we need to do some more work on the stage. Can y'all please get off? And we were like, yeah, sure. And so we went over and uh, talked to my grandmother. My grandmother was actually talking to Bev and husband, aka Chase's mom and dad, and we were talking to them, and so Callie brought up something about me liking Chase, and Chase's dad was like, let's go see if we can find Chase, and y'all can talk to him and take pictures with him, we were like, okay, and so he did that, and we talked, took pictures with him, he, had a, he came out, and was, when he came, when he, when his dad went and got him, and he walked into the, where we were, Chase was like, oh, I see, some, I see two familiar faces. We met, if y'all don't know, we met Chase at MacCon Atlanta. He was there, and we had gotten to know him, like, really good at MacCon. And, yeah. And so after that, sorry, after that, Nate came out, and he was talking to us. We took pictures with him. And then Kenny came out and was talking to us, and we took pictures with him. And when I got my picture... Kenny, you know, had his arm around me, took the random picture, and then after that, he kissed me on the cheek, which I was the only one Kenny kissed on the cheek out of our group at that moment. And I was like, oh my God, Kenny just kissed my cheek. I'm not washing my cheek. And then, um, after that, Ricky came out, and Ricky had a handful of stuff to give to all of O2L, like to the rest of the group. And so he took pictures with us with all this stuff in his hands. And then he went back and Jake, Cody, all of them came out and they were talking to us. I think we took pictures with them, I don't know. And so yeah, it was pretty cool, it was fun. After we took pictures with them, we went backstage and we hung out with Jake Sushi for a lot, for a long time. And then we went and hung out with, or no, we were sitting at a table and Jake came and sat down and was eating. And so we were talking to him. And then Chase came, and then after Jake left, Chase came and was talking to us. And took Callie's phone and was creeper, taking pictures like a creeper. And then I was taking pictures of Chase too, because it was pretty attractive. So then, and then Callie was like, yeah, Chase, you know, Molly's in love with you. I was like, I hate you, Callie. But yeah. And then after that, we 
and like all the action going on, we didn't really want to go watch them, and so we just hung out in the dressing room and talked to Kenny, talked to Kenny, Chase, Chase. We we mostly hung out with Chase a lot, and Ricky and Trevor. We hung out with those were like the four main people we hung out with, most, and we got to know a lot better. And then we went. What did we do after that? Oh yeah, then we went and saw. Uh, when Ricky was on stage, we went out and saw him, and then when Trevor was on stage, we went and saw him. And then we went and saw the last act, which was Wildlife. They did uh, Cold Hearted, and then they did Wild Wildlife, which was kind of fun, because all the dancers came out with like masks and stuff. And when we were leaving, as everyone was leaving, we were all taking pictures with the with people. And so I took pictures with Galinsky, Sammy, not Ryan, I don't think. Maybe I took, I think I took pictures with Ryan. Um, yeah, I know I took one with Boosh, but Caitlin and Callie have all those, have some of them. And who else I take pictures with? I think that was about it at the end of the show. It was about, like, it was fun getting to go backstage and, like, actually hang out with the guys personally and, like, talk to them. Um, if y'all saw Ricky's tweet that said, eyebrows on fleek, more like he eek. Caitlin had said, eyebrows on fleek, and Ricky and Trevor both quoted it. Trevor, if y'all, y'all, I don't know if y'all saw it on Trevor's, uh, Vine page, but me, Kelly, and Caitlin were in Trevor's Vine. It was the Hunger Games, and then he was like, "Ooh, I was on fleek stuff." Oh, it was funny, and yeah, and then I was I was sitting next to Chase when he took the uh, the Vine when he was like, "Impression or no." Impression of a dude who just got married and Jake Fishy was like, dang it. Yeah, that was my friend Caitlin that he was proposing to. Or he was proposing to. It was funny. And then the impression of Lady Gaga. I think we had walked in right when he was, right when Trevor was doing a, ah, 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 that thing. And so, Ricky's pretty cool. Yeah, but Trevor, all Trevor said was, suck my ass, or, Bajikska, whatever. I was like, okay, you can stop saying that now. <laughs> like, every time I say something, suck my ass. I was like, oh my goodness, hush. And then, I don't, y'all probably saw. Ricky followed me on Insta, or on Twitter. Sorry. He asked for me, Callie, and Caitlin's Twitters, and he, he followed all of us. And, yeah. I was really, Trevor's computer was open. And he was on stage, and I was really tempted to go type my user and follow myself on this computer. I was like, you want me to so I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I think that's... Oh, yeah, and then when we were leaving, we were hugging all the guys. And Jack... No, not Jack Day. Callie... Oh, no, after I took my picture with Jack Galinsky, Callie was like... Hey Jack Linsky, do you ship Jolly? And he was like, she was pointing to me and Jack, and he was like, he was like, yeah, totally. I was like, oh my god, you did not just say that. Then I, me and Chase hugged like five times, five billion times. I think a lot. And the first time he hugged me when we were about to leave, he was like, bye, I'll miss you. I was like, I'll miss you too. No, he was like, bye. No, he just hugged me and he was like, I'll miss you. I was like, I'll miss you too. And then the like last time we hugged before we left, he was like, "I love you, babe." I was like, "I love you too, Chase." And so yeah. So, yeah. so that's my Mac or er, MacCon. That's my MacCon experience. Just kidding. No, that's my Digi experience. I think that's all I have to say. Yeah, that's all I have to say because that's all that really happened. A lot more happened, and I don't really want to go more in depth. But yeah, that's all that really, that was all the fun parts that actually happened. Okay,
right. mama's talking to you, saying clean up the basement While the money's talking to me, that's personification Paper in my hand, till the day that I'm finished And yeah, I hate it's just a fan that is scared to admit it, but I get it A preconceived notion that you can't like us cause your friends don't You generic like a number two pin, so a venture will leave you will be blowing on a whistle At YMCA leagues every Sunday with your kinfolk I'm coming around the mountain, I'm just finding my way And all I really wanna do in life is make someone's day And get paid from time to time, all that I'm trying to say Is that I can't see why you hate when I'm just doing my thing Gonna get this money while we're still young, yeah. While we're still young. <laughs> no, and damn, I don't give what. We gon' get this money while we're still young. While we're still young. the book. Impression of a man that just got married. <laughs> Dang it. That's the impression Dang. of Lady Gaga. Ra 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 ah ah. Ra ma ra.